Hello, FanDuel NBA preview for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Coming, I, I gotta be honest, I, I'm a been on a tilt lately. Uh, last night didn't go all that great, and then uh, that glorified, uh, I didn't feel good about, uh, I fussed with my lineups a couple times, uh, for the deadline, waiting for uh, news on uh, Jimmy Butler, and then uh, Hakeem Noah uh, became a scratch, and I was uh, futzing with uh, my weekly lineup, so I had to get uh, suddenly find another center. Uh, so, but anyways, I wasn't doing good as I was, and then uh, that glorified D League team known as the Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, Kevin Martin was a late scratch. Uh, can't trust, uh, the think twice for, before putting a T. Wolves player in, especially, uh, obviously, uh, later games, West Coast games, you're at more of a risk of, uh, late, uh, late news. You know, the tiebreaker, I always go with, uh, early players, and I was alone, the 28 point, um, uh, 6% there, uh, Kimber Walker is uh he had, he was popular last night. He's uh rounding in the form. Uh, Harden is number uh well you could put Anthony Davis in the discussion to a second most uh, prolific player in fantasy basketball uh right now and I I expect that salary to hit um, the upper elevens, maybe even uh top out at um Twelve thousand, um, for, for, uh, fairly soon. Uh, Jay Crowder took a step back. Uh, Corey Brewer, that was a mistake. Uh, Marochik actually, uh, th that was uh, part of the late news uh, with Noah out. I threw Marochik in. He's been, uh, he did good, but uh, Paul Gasol, he manned the center position. He went fifty plus. Uh, Brooke Lopez, good. Rudy Gobert, better. And, uh, talked about CJ Watson the other day. He, uh, more injuries in Indiana, and, uh, he came through. This is, uh, one of the optimal winning entries, uh, with a 0 0.5%, 35.9. Uh, you know, the problem I have with the Celtics, if I go Evan Turner, then Avery Bradley goes, uh, Avery Bradley goes, uh, uh, I play Avery Bradley, Evan Turner goes off. Wiggins actually showed up his, one of his, uh, his best game in a few weeks. Um, uh, Gordon Hayward out, that was another thing. I, I had to get him out for playoff week. I had to get him out of a lineup, uh, Marty Junis heavily owned for the salary. Good, acceptable. Uh, other headlines uh, that's uh, going on. Uh, See, so Corey Bird just doesn't get the minutes. Uh, yeah, he gets six shots, twenty-five minutes. Uh, George Hill, George, I, I saw off the early lineups. Uh, Roy Hibbert, uh, he's trend, you know, he's in the, uh, 5,500 range, uh, in fact, Evan Turner triple doubled. So, uh, and, uh, Isaiah Thomas looms, uh, looks like he's about to come back, uh, Olenek, uh, he had a good game, but he comes off the bench, so, um, uh, I, I wanted to play uh, Bogdanovic, uh, and turn, he didn't do much, uh, get another one who comes off the bench, uh, 25, 30 minutes, uh, and that's, that's a risk that you'll get, uh, a night where it just, uh, doesn't put up a lot of points, uh, nor they call that rest, uh, so there'll probably be more of that with the Bulls going, uh, going forward, uh, Zach Levine had a great night, uh, uh, 27 points, uh, 
I actually thought of Chase Bridinger, uh, Adrian Payne, if you're desperate for, uh, and, and favors, obviously, had the good, um, good night. Uh, Rodney Hood, well, I, I tried him once. Uh, he had another, uh, he had the flu or something. The infamous uh, Utah flu at once got uh, Michael Jeffrey Jordan in the middle of a championship series. Who 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 catches a flu in the middle of June? <laughs> that that that's uh, that's one of the better stories of uh, all time. Uh, tainted pizza. That's a story. Popular theory about that. Uh, and actually, I did uh, want to. Uh, So this actually, I, I'd like to show some comments on uh, okay, on uh, Johnny, how uh, Johnny Owens, uh. At the two ninety seven, uh, well, that's a good uh, good night. I don't know if that got uh, got him in the money. He said, "Just need Curry to finish out this game." Uh, I don't know how that finished for him. Uh, Warriors blew out the Wizards, so that uh, so um, I think um, Curry only wound up for twenty eight minutes. Uh, Clay Thompson, I think, only played seventeen. Uh, no one else played more than 22, so that was another one. If you had John Wall or Seth Curry, uh, uh, you were disappointed. And actually had uh, um, Martin played. I, I was at 260. I could have got into the 290s if I had uh, someone good there. Uh, so we will get to... Tonight, sorry about the dead air there. Uh, six games tonight. Uh, Wednesday will be a, uh, a, a, a full night. Uh, Raptors are in Detroit. Heat are at the uh, free-falling Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, Lakers at OKC, so this is a uh, Russell Westbrook night. Uh, Spurs at Dallas, Philadelphia at Sacramento. Golden State, uh, second uh, part of a back-to-back. -back. They're up in Portland. Uh, so this going to be a lot of decisions there. Uh, I'm really... Uh, Michael Carter Williams has had a couple of decent games. Uh, give him that. I'm kind of trigger happy on that. Uh, Drogic is actually been good. Uh, throughout the last game, uh, he's actually been in the 40s, uh, settled in, in Miami. It looks like, uh, and Miami's in uh, the the thick of the you think of the teams battling, uh, and yeah, th these are two of them. This is a game uh, Miami needs tonight. Uh, this is one of the you throw Milwaukee in, uh, like Boston, Indiana, Brooklyn. There's several that are going for that uh, seventh and eighth spot. So though that's a good one. Uh, Reggie Jackson in there too. Shooting guards, uh, we'll see what the survey says. Survey says, I uh, can't go wrong with Dwayne Wade, where he played it on the court, uh, not on the court, but in the uh, arena he played his college ball over a decade ago. They have Dion Waiters projected for 25.8. Uh, Anthony Morrow, it's uh, good for uh, 
Uh, he, you know, again, another player who comes off the bench. So I don't know how good that's going to do. But you like that he's gone over 20. If you get, if you get around that threshold, uh, this is just uh, to save some cap room. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll put that there. Uh, and for the other one, uh, why not for now? Unless uh, I go over the cap, we'll have Wade in. Uh, the um, small forwards, um, Howie Leonard's coming off a... Uh, Pretty good night. Sunday he uh, did well. Luol Dane, uh, you know, uh, Chandler Parsons has picked it up. Uh, Rudy Gay has been hot. If I could, uh, uh, I want to get Rudy Gay in tonight, and we'll see. Uh, and what I do uh, here early in the morning, just a disclaimer, that will not be the lineup I will be uh, going with. Uh, I'll always be, uh, especially now, there will be a ton of um, injury news, surprise scratches. Uh, so this is uh, subject to change. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge doesn't sound like uh, he will be playing. Uh, I will try to put Noel in. Ilya Sova has been uh, has done well lately, and I am going to be left with fifty eight hundred for a center. Uh, Steve Stephen Adams has been good. Enos Kanner has been better. Hassan Whiteside carries a, a foul trouble risk. Uh, and um, something I heard on the OKC broadcast is hothead days that goes back to uh, oh, his college days at Marshall. So oh, that's uh, that's a rescue. Uh, you know, I love having a couple of the season on uh, leagues. Uh, he's bailed me out for, uh, for Chris Bosch on one and wound up being a bonus on another. So I'm going to have Cantor and... Uh, I got the Lakers. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, uh, this isn't a fluke. He's from been averaging close to 40. So I'm over the cap here. So for time constraints, I'm going to throw in uh, Monta Ellis for now. And uh, I'll think of someone, uh, you know, so a 5,900 small forward I like, a 5,900 power forward. Uh, we'll go with, you know, and uh, the other thing, if you happen to have cap room at the end of the, the end of the day, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I, I put someone in at 6,400 to squeeze a cap, and I find out the guy I like at 5,200 to wound up with better numbers. I've seen uh, winning plays at the... Uh, would have a thousand over the cap. It, it it happens. You know, I I tend to get right on the button fifty nine nine or you know sixty thousand. But uh, if you have three hundred, especially if there's not a lot of options on a specific night, don't feel like that's a necessity. So this particular lineup has uh, Dragic, Reggie Jackson, Anthony Morrow, Monta Ellis, Rudy Gay, Luol Dane, Nerlens Noel, Ilya Sova, and Enos. Uh, Cantor to complete my international flavor. So updates throughout the day. Uh, be sure to check back often. We'll talk to you tomorrow.